up guys, welcome to another video. First of all, what are those? I don't know what's really going on here. <laughs> We've got a situation with the hair. I did some things that were wrong. <laughs> Not proud of them. The footage is deleted, the evidence is gone. And now I basically need to wash my hair to reset. The hair was dirty already when I did it, but we're not going to let this sit for a while. I figured it'd be a good time to test some hair colors that I just got in the mail since I need to wash my hair anyway. But first, I want to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Flamingo. Flamingo is the new brand from the Harry family created for us women. They make high quality, effective products for women with hair that's all of us, including razor, waxing kits, and more. I was sent their shave kit and was really impressed by the price and quality of these products. I didn't think the razor would wow me. I truly felt like at 33, I had pretty much tried every type of razor out there, including my husband's, but I was shocked by how smoothly it removed the hair. My skin felt instantly soft. I didn't feel like the blades were unsafe. They were extremely effective but they all hug the curves of my legs and armpits really well for a clean, close shave. I'm impressed. The lotion is also amazing, extremely hydrating, and it just glides on and spreads out beautifully. It also pairs perfectly with your favorite body oils if you're into that. If you can't tell, I'm a little obsessed with it. This was the smaller container that I annihilated previously, so I'm happy that I now have more to use. The shave kit is $16, and it comes with a super high quality, amazing razor, a replacement cartridge, shaving gel, body lotion, a convenient shower hook to hold the razor when it's not in use, and a reusable pouch to hold everything. I truly feel like the razor is worth that $16 price alone. It shaves so close, it leaves your skin and super soft and smooth and shiny with its hydrating aloe vera strip that feels so good and it looks beautiful. So it's an amazing deal that I really had to share with you guys. And if you need additional cartridges, you can get them for just $2 a cartridge, which is essentially $2 for an amazing high quality razor, which is honestly unheard of. Their products are cruelty free without parabens and sulfates, and the razor comes in three beautiful colors to choose from. I have the taro and rose gold, which is chic and classic, and it looks great in my shower. Y'all, this razor combo is the truth. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You definitely get your money's worth and more, which is really important to me. And that's why I'm so excited about this company. Everything on their site is well-priced for the amazing quality that they're offering and I can stand by them. You can get Flamingo Shave Set and everything else I showed in this video shipped to your door for free if you're in the US. Just click the link at the top of the description to grab yours. I got like a bare face today because it's really freaking hot in here and my AC has been really acting up. So I have a fan blowing on me right now. So I hope you don't mind. Hopefully you can't hear it. It's a hot. I just don't wanna be like putting hair color on my hair, makeup, sweat, no, we're not doing that today. I'm really excited about the hair colors we're gonna try today. They're from a black owned business, Crown Paint Colors. And you guys recommended them to me on Instagram when I was showing my hair paint color videos. You guys really give them a try, so. I'm here to give them a try. They gave me a little card that's really nice. They have so many dope colors. They had a lot more colors than hair paint wax. I don't remember what I ordered. It was a couple of weeks ago. I think I ordered a glow in the dark, which is like this guy here. And it comes out yellow and then it glows like in the dark. <laughs> and then I ordered a really bright yellow one, radioactive neon yellow. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. I don't think this is gonna go over my entire hair. One we're gonna try today is this color right here. This is gorgeous. Violetta, Violetta. Why can't I talk today? Why am I acting like a spaz? The ingredients look pretty normal. They've got instructions for highlights and for all over coverage. So this says it's best applied with your hands without gloves and the red shades are highly pigmented and will take longer than any of the other colors to dry. <laughs> The directions say rub into hair in a downward motion, apply with fingertips for highlights or entire hand for all over cover. Color, set dry with a blow dryer on the lowest setting. I'm gonna go grab a blow dryer. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and plug this bad boy in. By the way, I bought this shirt when Obama was president. It's got a whole new meaning now. All right, we're not being political, I'm just saying. That's why I'm wearing it during a hair color video. <laughs> in case you were wondering. I have two from this company, which is really good. It's the uh, Babyless Pro. 
uh, nano titanium. Let's just get to it. And I'm sweating. It's hot in here, sorry. I wanna kinda do this in large sections. I don't want this to take too long. I'm kinda familiar with hair color waxes at this point, so I feel like I can get away with this. I'm excited about this color. It looks really pretty on the website. Ooh, child, look at that. Ooh, looks like cake frosting. Mm. Oh, it smells good! Oh, that's really nice. The um, hair paint wax smells like men's cologne. This smells like, like baby buttercream. Beautiful. And it's very delicate. All right, I've got my spray bottle here. I am going to make sure to moisturize my hair underneath. It's gonna act as kind of like a little barrier actually so if you put some moisture underneath it'll really benefit your hair we're gonna go ahead and scrape the bottom of our melanin hair care twist elongating style cream just a little bit not too much just kidding I'm adding more <laughs> okay. and then we're gonna add a teeny tiny bit of oil and the last time I did the uh, hair color wax, I did a twist out. And I'm not going to do a twist out this time. I'm just going to let my curls kind of form how they want to form with this wax to just kind of see what that looks like. You can't tell nobody. I'm talking about nobody. Are you responsible? Just a tangling to make sure all of the knots are out. All right. It's the moment of truth. Oh my gosh. It is so soft. I'm obsessed. That feels like heaven. That feels literally so creamy and oh my god. Look how that just spreads. Oh yeah, my shirt's a boner. <laughs> We're gonna do balayage again because I feel like it just looks the most natural. We're gonna call this hair color porn because holy crap, look at that. That looks so good. So this is definitely different than the hair paint wax. And she doesn't actually call this a wax. I think I'm just calling this a wax because I'm used to it being called a wax. This is not like waxy at all. This is more of like a custard, frostingy custard type of situation. And it still defines my hair really nicely. But it's, it's like a softer hold, which I really like. I'm hoping that I don't need two jars and that this will do my entire head. I guess we will see. I don't know if I need the blow dryer either. I feel like I want to let it air dry so that my curls can kind of form how they want to form. That looks so pretty. This shirt was a good choice too. Green and purple. Okay. Woo! All right. This is how you save a hairstyle. When in doubt, just add some hair color to redefine and cover up all your mistakes. We're re-moisturizing with water. Grabbing a little bit of moisturizer of your choice. If you guys don't have this and you just want to use like a, a DIY hair cream, I've got videos on those. Um, and I'll link them in the description box, like all my DIY playlists if you like to make your own hair creams. Because my product line is based off of my DIYs. I like that little peekaboo of the purple underneath. Isn't that cute? Yes! Some oil, not too much. And then detangle. Physical silence. No need to speak Alright guys, you ready for a little bit of hair? Hair color porn? Here we go. rub this in as evenly as possible because I don't want splotches you know definitely want a nice even color so really take your time to rub this stuff in uneven distribution just kind of ruins the whole vibe I'm realizing that my roots are going to be puffy I'm gonna twist my roots just a little just to get a little bit of definition there all right so that's my basic technique applying it to the bottom and then twisting out my roots
Just a quick note that you don't want to spray too much water. I lightly mist it just to add a tiny bit of moisture because you don't want it reverting too much. One of the reasons why I'm still seeing a lot of length even though it's reverting and getting curly is because, you know, my hair was blown out. This is unstretched blown out hair and I didn't spray too much water. The good thing about these hair colors is that you will get a little bit of um, stretch regardless just because of the weight of the product. But you can get even more if you reduce the amount of water. I feel like that took forever. My whole head is done. I definitely like the method I did on my last hair wax color video with the twisting because it was a lot more forgiving. I didn't have to define every curl because I didn't want to go all the way up to my root. You know, we got like fuzzy roots and all that kind of thing, which were a lot easier to control when I was putting my hair in twists. I wanted to try it two different ways. And now I know what I prefer. Although I do like, you know, my natural curl kind of popping out. It looks really cool. It's definitely a messy process. I feel like the last time I did it, it was messy too. So that's nothing new. I think it just comes with the territory. I ended up using pretty much almost the whole jar. I've got like that little glob right there. I could really scrape the corners if I wanted to. And I also have some here in the cap. So it's not all gone. And I am going to save that because I do have these samples here and it could be cool to put them all together. This side I started on, it's pretty dry. It's not 100% dry, but I'm gonna use my blow dryer to kind of speed things up here because I only have 30 minutes before I need to get out of here. more 
colors than I thought I was gonna do with the makeup, but okay. Everything is pretty dry. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about these twists here because I'm not confident that I could dry them with a blow dryer. But I did notice the hair with the cream on it does dry pretty fast, so maybe. I'm gonna get a towel, I'll be right back. <laughs> It looks gorgeous. I'm gonna just freshen up my roots. I'm gonna try not to play with it too much because it really does transfer a lot. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to wash this out tonight. But I think it looks gorgeous. Like, look at the color. It looks really natural, very beautiful. Defines your curls, gives you hang time, and it looks very real. It doesn't look like I put chalk in my hair or anything like that. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. Well, it wasn't quick. I don't know if it was quick. You guys were requesting it on my Instagram. You wanted me to give it a try. The Crown Paint Temporary Hair Colors. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you again to Flamingo for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to pick up your $16 amazing shave kit with free shipping by clicking the link at the top of the description.